So I got on my Superman tea because that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, phew. So this is um, entry into my dating chronicles. I actually did a whole vlog yesterday, um, but it turned into quite the rant. And when I listened to it today, baby, I was like, honey, you sound a little bitterish. You need to get that under control. That's not how I want to come across. Um, suffice it to say, I'm, I'm frustrated. But you guys know that I've talked about, you know, this whole dating thing and, you know, what that means and situationships and, you know, coming out my last relationship and how I felt about that and, you know, the, all, all those kinds of things. Like, I've been very transparent about that and I've spoken about that ad infinitum. But, um, and ad nauseum, I think that it is just such an overflow of frustration that not just me that that I'm having like it's not just me like it's a lot of what of us it's a lot of men and women both on both sides of the equation who are feeling this frustration and I'm not quite sure why like it's perplexing to me I think that at its core you know one of the things that became very prevalent to me last week while I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, I, I told him that my next vlog was going to be called Daddy Does Not Take Care of Home. So if it is actually called that, that shout out to him. <laughs> because what we experience a lot of times is a breakdown in communication. And so women feel very neglected and um, very isolated and unappreciated and unwanted and all the other uns, and men, for their part, feel like they're being nagged on, and, you know, they can never do enough, and nothing ain't good, never good enough, and, you know, so it's always like this clash, when really at the root of it is abysmal communication. Now, I happen to be very straightforward. Um, one of the things that's really driving me very crazy about dating right now is the lack of time, and, like, the lack of interest in spending time. Beyond that, this whole tendency to text you to death, it, it just drives me crazy. And I don't necessarily say anything about it because I recognize that people have preferred communication styles. And don't get me wrong, if it's during the day, like I don't have time to just be sitting on the phone. Like I'm busy. I, like my my job is, is extremely demanding, depending on the season. But it can be d extremely demanding. I have people in and out of my office all the time. And even though, you know, I have my own office, the idea... I can't just be sitting there on the telephone just, you know, chilling and sipping on water and acting like I don't have anything to do. That's just not the way that life works. That's not the way that my life works. And I would assume that any man that I'm trying to be involved with, that's not the way that his life works either. I'm aware of all the memes as well, you know, that if you want a rich man, you got to put up with a busy man and blah, 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 blah. I get all that crap. Like, I really do. But here's the thing. People make time for what it is that is important to them. Period. Point blank period. And I've always felt that way. People find time to do the most ridiculous things. They can leave work 15 minutes early because they need to go to the mall. They need to, to figure out how to get a package so they figure out how they can meet the post person or whatever. People build into their days whatever it is that's crucial and important to them. And if you're not crucial and important to them, they don't find time for you or they fit you in when you get in. And that's always been... A pet peeve of mine and I've always been very sensitive to that and so as a result whether it's accurate or not in that space of time I walk away feeling like I don't matter and so once I start feeling like that it's a problem now I will articulate that and be like yo dog like I need my face time like I need like I need cuddle time like what's going on like what's happening and once I do that if you don't make any move to try and remedy that or you don't make any move to try and and do something about that immediately and expeditiously, as my man T.I. says, then I figure that I don't matter to you. And when I say immediately and expeditiously, I mean within the next week or so. Like, I figure seven days. Like, dog. Like, in seven days, you can't find two hours, an hour, something, just to reconnect and to reestablish our bond and, you know, have some face-to-face -face time. Like, I just think that that's important. Um, so, once I figure out that that's not something that you're interested in doing, then... It takes me off center and my security is, is affected. My sense of being, my connectivity to this person is affected. And that's one of the things that I used to complain about in my last relationship. Like he was super busy, you know, all the time, you know, he's running here, working all the time, 
Okay, so either work is an excuse and you really don't want to spend any time with me or you really are that busy and I don't matter or you're that busy and you don't find the value in making time for me. Something. Like, and let me be clear. Before somebody come on my page and tell me that, you know, I'm, I need to understand. Okay, so I'm not somebody who needs to be under anybody 24 hours a day. Matter of fact, one of my famous sayings is, how can I miss you if you don't go away? And I mean that with everything in me. Like, I don't feel the need to be up under somebody's left breast, chest, arm, nothing. I don't feel like I need to do that 24 hours a day. I feel that it's important to have a wait time so that I can miss you, so that you can miss me. And when we come back together, like, we feel really good about that. And we feel, what is going on with this hair? We feel really um, connected and we feel like, you know, we've, We've gone and done some things separately and now it's time for us to do some things together. Like that's, to me, that's the ebb and flow of a relationship and I rather appreciate that. So no, I'm not making any kind of demands that I got to see somebody every day. I got to touch them every day. I got to be in their face every day, especially if we're not living together. No, I don't have any such expectations, but I do expect some kind of connectivity. If you can go two, three days and not speak to me, not talk to me, if you can go two, three weeks and not see me and not miss me enough to be like, yo, dog, like, well, come on now, we need to get together. Come on, what, like, what's going on? And you're not really in my text or on my phone like, babe, come on, as much as I am you, you don't really want to be with me. And there's nothing that you can say to convince me otherwise. Like, that's, that's just not a thing. So if you are that busy, I would just prefer that you not act like you want to pursue me now. What you do with other women or what you do with your other time, that's that's up to you. That's what they negotiate. But for me, I think it's important to have that that connectivity and that synergy because that's the way that I derive my sense of security and my sense of self. And it makes me feel wanted and needed. I, I, I need to have that. Like, as a woman, it I need to have that. And if I'm telling you that and you do absolutely nothing with that information... I'm going to have to assume that you don't care. There's no other way around it. Like, that's just that's that's just not a thing. So when I say that daddy is not taking care of home, I don't mean in provision. Like, a lot of men really and truly source their value by their work. And the busier they are, the better they feel about themselves. And Lord knows I'm not in any, any position to interfere with somebody's self-esteem. But there are other things in life that must be and should be balanced. Like, y'all don't do a good job with balancing. You really, really don't. Like, it's all this over here, and then this suffers. And then when your woman says something, or the woman that you're interested in says something, then she's spoiled, she's demanding, she's not understanding. Listen, we're not our grandmamas. Our grandmama suffered in silence and went to the church and laid it on the altar and probably oversalted your food and fed you some raw chicken on occasion, put you on the toilet so you can't leave the house. But... <laughs> Women of today, we have our own careers, we have our own stuff going on, and so we're not necessarily inclined to continue to suffer. Like, we want to see you, We and I would think that you would be flattered that she want to see you, that she wants to spend time with you, that she wants to, you know, whatever, and it's not about money, it's not about, it's just about, you know, those intangibles, but at the same time, the effort is what really matters. The, the, the drive, some of y'all pursuit game is just trash, like, she's just there. Like the garbage. There's the trash. Oh, there's my woman. It, listen, and I'm not speaking for every woman. Clearly, I'm speaking for myself. And a handful of my associates who all feel the same way. Y'all got to do better. Like, y you got good women who are, like, really wanting to spend time with you. And y'all could care less. Now, if you don't want her, let her go. Just what you're holding on to her for. Just to say, that, like, that, let her go. Somebody out there will appreciate the fact that she really wants to see them and really wants to, you know, be invested and have time with them and all that kind of stuff. Like, somebody will be flattered. Stop hogging her. You don't want her? Let her go. Have that comprehensive conversation. Like, look, this is not working. I know you want this. I'm not in a position to give you that. I'm in a position to give you that. I just don't want to. Whatever the case may be, you got to stop. You, you like, you really, you got to stop because it's mixed messages and it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to a woman like me and it's frustrating to a lot of women who have my same perspective. And I also want to say this. There's a certain
certain meme that goes around that's just like driving me crazy. Like I hate it with everything in me. And it's like it says something like, uh, the woman who asks for nothing is the woman that deserves everything. Listen, ladies, listen to me. You better open up your mouth. You, a closed mouth don't get fed. Like seriously, I like I'm. Y'all better start saying you know that you are lacking or you have to, all that suffering and silence and hoping that he noticed and hoping that he comes to the conclusion that you're worth this, that, and the third and you haven't advocated for yourself. Like, that's the dumbest thing ever in life and I will never do that again, ever again in the history of ever. No, I'm going to tell you this is what I need. I'm going to let you know that this is what I require. You can make the decision. I'm choking. <laughs> You can make the decision as to whether or not that's something that you actually want to do. Like, I, it's a free country and nobody is holding anybody hostage. But I do think that in the context of a relationship or exploring a relationship, like this whole notion of separate lives and when I see you, I see you. And all the, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like that at all. Like those new dating rules are for the birds. I can't take it. I really, really can't. Um, so... Maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm, I continue to be single because that's something that I'm just not willing to compromise on. Like at some point, I want to, like, how can you date if you never go out? How, how can you say that you're involved with somebody and you, you never see them? What, what is that? What? We just have a long distance telephone, we have a long distance telephone texting relationship in the same city. Let that sink in. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. So, yes, daddy is not taking care of home. <laughs> y'all better take care of y'all houses because you wake up and that, the only thing you got in it is lint and an avocado. I'm Felisa, leave your comments below if you have any, and I'll talk to y'all later on. Bye.